Hi, my name is Misha. Uh, my cat's name is May. So I first got the idea to build the catio when I moved into the house. May has been an indoor cat for as long as I've had her, um, and she kept wanting to try to get outside, and I was like, I'm not gonna let you do that. I don't want you to get run over or to kill all the birds, but I'd like to give you a space to do that, and there was this space on the south side of the house that was perfect, so. Yeah, so I, I picked the location uh, based purely off of uh, I didn't know what else to do with the space. Um, there's also a couple other things that were really convenient. There's actually a uh, coal, I think it's a coal storage, like drop vent thing in the side of the basement. So there's already a hole there for easy cat access without needing to open a window. Um, and it's south facing. So obviously lots of good sunlight for her to lie around in. In order for May to get into the catio, I actually built a sort of, well, a catwalk, uh, a, a raised walkway above my model railroad in the basement. Um, it runs about half the length of the basement and then drops down uh, to the floor level. Uh, it took maybe two weeks for her to get used to it. I did a lot of using treats to coax her up into it to realize that there was a cat door she could go through. Uh, but these days that's her preferred way to come in and out. So the process for building this was um, incredibly uh, challenging from a technical perspective because I was learning all these new skills, but easy from a materials acquisition perspective. Um, I heard about Mr. Plywood uh, soon after I moved to, to Portland because everyone knew I liked building things. Um, and so it was really easy for me to kind of plan out all the stuff I needed, um, go select it all and then have them deliver it. I have a Prius, so bringing a lot of lumber to and from uh, someplace is not very easy. I tried once from Mr. Plywood and I did break my windshield. So ever since then I've just used their $35 delivery to get it dropped off in my in my uh, driveway and it was been, it's been fantastic. So there's a couple things that I've noticed uh, since I built the catio um, with, with respect to May. I think uh, the first big one is that she's much less, uh, she used to, when I first went to the house she would like try to run for the, the front door. Um, and these days she'll come and look at it, but if I say no, she'll back off. And I, I, you know, I don't know if it's a conscious thought, but knowing that she can get outside is really good. Um, another big one that I've noticed is just like, it's more creatures for her to interact with. She used to hate other cats and um, there's a couple of free roaming cats in the neighborhood, as is often the case. Um, and they'll actually come meet her at the catio. She'll be on one side and they'll be on the other. Um, and that's kind of gotten her a little bit more socialized because she knows that this is her space and they can't get into her. And then the, just sort of the playfulness of being back here. Um, I think the, there's a lot of cat safe greens in here. Um, and so she's been able to enjoy eating those. And then uh, being able to play with the, well, play with the, the bees and you know watch all the birds and stuff like that. And she just seems to be a little bit more uh, energized by the things that are going outside and a little bit less, um, I don't know, less of that feeling of being trapped and you know complaining about not being able to, to be outside. Another one of my hobbies, as you can probably tell, is uh, model trains. Um, I've been into them since I was two, apparently. I remember loving trains from, you know, age four on. Um, and so when I bought the house, I knew that I had to have trains in it and outside. Um, the type of train that I have here, which is a Shea locomotive, is, is a type that I've wanted since I was very young. Um, and now that I actually have the space and income to, to be able to do that, I, I had to go for it. So I built a small garden railroad that's just kind of on a raised bed in the backyard. Um, and I loved it, but I wanted to do something a little bit bigger. And after building the catio, I'd kind of built these construction techniques, you know, the sort of two by twos with the mesh on top and all that kind of stuff. And so I realized that I could use that same technique to build a much bigger garden railroad, one that could go all the way to the front yard so the neighborhood kids could see it, and that could also go through the catio to provide some extra entertainment for May and for myself when I'm in the catio. So there's a couple things that I learned while working on this that uh, if I'd gone back, I would have done things differently. Um, one of the big ones I actually did have to go back in, which was just, I built the foundation using, I didn't know the, the difference between treated wood and pressure treated wood, and I built the foundation using treated wood and then read that the lifetime was just so much lower that I was like, I don't wanna have to tear down the whole catio and rebuild it in five years. So uh, I tore that all out and put back in pressure treated wood. Um, I think a second thing is if I were to do this again, I would probably have built the um, structure a little bit shorter, honestly. Even though she has a, a places where she can get up high and look out over the fence, it didn't need to be as tall as it was. Uh, she could still have access to that and I could still cut two feet off of the top, uh, which just would have simplified things. You know, I tried to build as much of this by myself because I find the challenge interesting, but it didn't have to be that hard. So I think catios are just such an incredibly important and, and 
cool idea. Uh, I, I remember reading a couple of stats around just the average lifetime of a cat that lives indoor slash catio versus free roaming. And I was like, I love my cat too much to risk that. So I'll give her the right balance of still getting outside, but also uh, not being at risk of being run over or killing other things. <laughs>